verra le tableau sur la... Ouais. Mais du coup, du coup, on voit plus du tout le speaker. Ouais. Good morning, everybody. Um, my name is Emil Aben. I will uh, be talking about uh, measuring the decentralizedness of the internet with Wipe Atlas. Quite a long title, quite a long name for a dev room. Um, I also have uh, a lot of slides, 42 slides, actually. Uh, but this is because this is actually two presentations. This is going to be my presentation. I also have a colleague here, Vesna, who, uh, whose talk, unfortunately, wasn't uh, uh, in the program, which will be uh, at the end of my slide set. So you'll only get half of, of the slide set that I'm going to present today. Um, so I'm Emil. I work at the RIPE NCC, and we do something called uh, RIPE Atlas. Um, so uh, first, a couple of disclaimers. Uh, my, my expertise is in measuring the Internet. I'm not a, an expert in the decentralized Internet, so I'm a bit nervous to be talking uh, in front of a room of, uh, of experts on that. So I hope I'm, I'm getting the framing right. Um, so what I want to focus on is decentralized infrastructure. So the internet, the infrastructure that's already there, how centralized, decentralized is that, and how can we measure that? Um, so current internet is, is, a lot of it is client server. Uh, this, these servers are centralized. You have the Facebooks, the, the, the Googles. That's, uh, that everybody knows, but like the original idea of the internet was the end-to-end -end principle. You, so you connect users directly. Um, and that's something that I would like to measure and see how that actually, uh, what that looks like in, in, in countries. Do we see centralizedness uh, or decentralizedness there? Um, so I put uh, down a toy example, uh, two networks there, the, 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 the circles. Um, these have... Um, so the, the, the organization I work for uh, uh, is the registry for IP addresses, but also for something called autonomous system numbers. So every network on the Internet, every ISP has an autonomous system number, which uh, allows them to connect to other ones. Um, so uh, this toy example, you have two of these, uh, uh, say, um, uh, uh, two ISPs. Um, and they connect via something called an IXP. So that's an internet exchange point, which basically is a big switch. Um, so say these networks have 50% of the users each. Um, so, but what actually matters is not that these networks exist, but that there's connections between things, connections between users. That's what makes this internet uh, useful. Um, I was thinking a little bit about it, and I was like, yeah, these networks actually see 75% of these connections. Um, if you look at that matrix there, um, um, and oh, I'll step out so the, 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 I'll be private from the, from the, the camera there. Um, but if this is all your connections, this is the sources and destinations. 
Um, then um, if you, well, I have to. this is actually what uh, AS7 sees. So that's 75% of these connections. And these connections are, I think, the, the, the important thing. Um, the other network, AS42, sees as the other 75%. And the IAXP only sees the th stuff that is between these networks. So it sees 50%. So number of users is not the number of connections. Uh, and I sort of wanted to, to start measuring that type of stuff. Um, so this betweenness, so this IXP is between, is 50% between the networks. Um, so how, how, how do you actually measure that type of stuff? So, um, and here, I'm, for a moment, I'm assuming that all user-to-user -user communication channels are equally important. It's not just uh, uh, rich white guys that are important. It's everybody is important. Um, so we need... Uh, vantage points in all these user networks. Um, uh, the second one, uh, the second ingredient is uh, estimations of populations in these networks. So you, you know you have a network, you have a vantage point from which you can measure this. Um, you need to know how many users these, these points uh, um, uh, represent and you need a tool that measures all the things, all the, all the, uh, the networks, all the infrastructure between these vantage points. Um, and uh, I put that picture there because this is not very, uh, this is quite messy. This is as messy as uh, baking uh, cookies with my kids. Um, so I, I want to uh, impress on, uh, this is not exact. Uh, this is, I'm trying to do the best with the tools and estimates that we have. So um, first ingredient is RIPE Atlas. So that's a project I'm involved in. Uh, that's putting these little TP-Link boxes uh, and other boxes uh, and uh, all around the world to actually measure things. I, I have a couple with me. Um, so if people are interested in putting them in their networks, um, uh, th they're here for you to take. Um, it, so, and what this does is measure the network uh, by community for community. Uh, so you can, if you are part of the network, you can also run measurements on it, and it uh, runs a couple of measurements by itself. Um, and uh, it's on Wikipedia, so uh, you can actually uh, find all the useful information in there as well. Uh, though, so two more ingredients. Um, um, there's uh, the user populations of the networks, and I'm using some data from uh, a sister organization, uh, APNIC, um, they measure um, roughly how many users there are in networks. I mean, this is very rough. This is, um, so it's order of magnitude measurements. So um, there's a URL there. And there, another exp uh, ingredient there is something I call IXP Country Jedi. That's a piece of software that we uh, wrote at the RIPE NCC um, that basically takes these probes these, these, um, and does a mesh between them from all the networks um, um, in a given country. And so, you, so then you, with Traceroute, you measure the path in as far as you can measure it. And that's, that's where the, 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 the messiness, uh, one part of the messiness comes from. Um, and then we analyze that. Uh, we also add in something called uh, OpenIP map, which is a... Uh, uh, a database of infrastructure IP addresses because uh, the, the IP geolocation databases are typically for end users. The stuff in between is not very well uh, represented there. So that's something we, we are trying to solve. Um, also a very interesting project, I think. Um, as I said, many caveats. I cannot get into that. I have 15 minutes. Uh, so picture uh, how I picture this is that what I'm doing is I create sketches of the local internet, user-to-user uh, -user, uh, connectivity. So that was a lot of words, so now I'm, uh, I I'm hoping to, uh, to get it into pictures. Um, so this is what Belgium looks like. So what you see here is the, the other ring represents uh, all the users. So you see, uh, I, so Belgium, yes. Um, that's probably not readable. <laughs> Sorry? Turn off this light. Can we which? Ah, oh yes, yes. Um, oh, somewhat readable now. Um, so 
this is one so f uh, according to the data that I received is 50% of the users are in Belgacom I, d I don't know if that's correct but that's what this part represents the the next one uh, Telenet is this many users uh, Brutele this many users and there's a couple of other so in uh, on users it's it's uh, it's, it's centralized uh, to in a sense uh, but then we do these, these, these trace routes between these, the, the, these probes representing these users, and we find uh, BNIX. So this is uh, an internet exchange point that is quite central. We see BIX, which is an, uh, a large network here, and we see Level 3, which is a big American transit provider. Um, so, and the sizes of these circles represents the betweenness of these. Uh, so I also have like, the, the data in the back uh, uh, for this. Um, and it's colored by, these are end user networks, uh, the uh, blues are the transit networks and the oranges are the IXPs. So um, Belgium, this is what the US looks like, I have five minutes, I'll just uh, skip through. You can actually see there AT&T is a user network but also a transit network so you can have hybrids. Um, this is what Canada looks like, uh, this is what Korea looks like and this, I, I find this Amazing that uh, this is um, the way I know the culture there is it people are not very direct, but their networks are very directly connected. So that's that's I, I, I love that part of this visualization. Um, South Africa loves internet exchange between the users there. So um, and this is in Mexico, that's Carlos Slim's network. We don't have a probe in there, so we cannot measure it. But there's a lot of American networks between the other ones. Um, so can we measure this? Yes, we can create sketches. Uh, next step, validate model. I, I like people to poke holes into this stuff. Is this stuff what I'm doing? Uh, does it make sense? Uh, does it look right for countries? Um, you can also do this for other decentralized networks. If you have large decentral uh, networks, um, uh, you can, for instance, add atlas probes, label them. We have something called uh, a variation of uh, the IXP country Jedi, which we call the hackerspaces Jedi, where you just take all the probes in hackerspaces and do a similar visualization. There's a URL for that. Um, and, um, or you can use similar methodology uh, and data uh, with the tools at your proposal for your decentralized uh, infrastructure. So more information, that's the... IXP Country Jedi that contains all this code. Um, so if you want to see this for yourself or your country, this URL uh, and the XX replace that with the country code. Um, I have promised a colleague that I will write all of this up because um, on labs.ripe.net. So if you're interested, please follow that there. Um, and that's it. Um, I uh, this is, was not just me. Uh, this was also. Uh, Jasper doing these uh, visualizations, uh, Vesna for ideas and analysis. We have an awesome student, Petros, who was uh, also working on this. So this was actually uh, work of that team. So uh, how, that's it for me. Um, any questions?